Hello and welcome to Conversations on Consciousness. How to open up your third eye faster. Is it possible? No. Sometimes people have a spiritual awakening, they have a psychic um, opening up. However, it is dangerous in my eyes. I could be wrong. I'm not always right. It's not healthy, it's not good to force your third eye open. And it's not really possible, I don't believe. Your third eye, your pineal gland, and your third eye isn't your pineal gland. However, all our chakras, we have seven main chakras, or nine main chakras, including the earth star and the soul star, um, crown, third eye, uh, throat, we have the, the heart, the solar plexus, um, the navel, and the root, uh, earth star all the nine main chakras, as well as minute, tiny little chakras throughout our whole body. Now, opening up your third eye is, all the, sorry, all those chakras are connected to a certain organ or a gland in our body, which helps to regulate those emotions and those feelings and, and help our whole bioenergetic circuitry within our body. So our third eye is connected to the pineal gland, which is a gland, um, connected in our, in our brain, the psychicness, you know, connected to our eyes, the eyes area, and it is our third eye. For men, it is located um, in, between, in between the brows, in between the, uh, the, the eyebrows, and for women, it's, it's located a little bit higher up. I can't remember where I thought about that, but I know that from experience when I've had in, like, um, ceremonies and workshops when... People, have, especially women, have come up to me and given me like a blessing on my third eye, and they've gone up really high up. And I said, "Can you come a bit further down? Because like you're in the wrong space." And it's usually the women that get it in the wrong wrong area. I think the women have their pineal gland, their third eye is connected to their pituitary gland, and the men is connected to their pineal gland. I believe I could be wrong. Anyway, opening up too too strongly, you know, it's like your body has to go through these different changes, and just as your your pineal gland or your pituitary gland, your third eye, it is, um, it is a spiritual muscle, it is an energy which with time becomes more toned, becomes more stronger. It's like going to the gym. Now, if you woke up the next day with, with such huge muscles, you'll probably lose balance, you know, you probably wouldn't under, you know, realize your strength. You're probably like not used to the way you're walking or people, you know, speaking to you in a certain way. You have to learn to adapt your new weight, your new body, if you are like a big, you know, much bigger person, you work up much bigger one day. So the same thing is, it was not the same, but completely different, but very similar. If you work up the next day with psychic senses in tune, you wouldn't know how to deal with yourself emotionally, you know, spiritually. You'll be getting these emotions, these feelings, these visions, and you wouldn't be prepared. In order for your psychic senses to uh, refine themselves, to, for you, you to have more of a relationship with your energy field, your, your consciousness, your, your psychic center, then it, it takes time. It's like a muscle. It takes time to grow and tone and to be more, more stronger. So what can you do to open up faster? Time. It's time and practice. Keep practicing all the time. For me, I'm always doing like little psychic exercises with myself, driving on the road. Um, I try to feel what's around the corners. Now, country lanes, you can't see what's coming around the corner, especially at night. And I try to always feel with my with my senses, my spidey senses, if you want to call it like, like that, of what's around the corner. I'm usually quite right. I'm not asking anyone to test me there. I'm just, I'm always trying to tune in. And sometimes I can feel it, sometimes I can't. Um, it's being aware, it's really open up your energy field. So your third eye, your psychic centers, doesn't just come with your third eye, it's your whole energy. Now I usually always feel if there's someone close to me, like physically or non-physically, I can feel a presence next to me because it's in my energy. Um, many, many years ago, um, I don't drink, I don't like alcohol, uh, you know, or, or drugs or anything like that. Uh, but many years ago, I was in, in a, this house, this house party, where I didn't have anything to drink. I just was falling asleep. And then something woke me up. 
And then I had someone with a pen in front of my eyes, like they were going to draw something on my face. And I looked at them, I was like, what are you about to do? Are you about to draw my face? I woke up because I felt something, somebody near me. And I think that's come with, you know, the past of being, trying to tune in, being meditation or being in a meditative space all the time and just trying to feel all the time what's around. So like, you know, in order to be more psychic, it, it takes time. It takes time to feel what's going on, to tune in. And you can't do that overnight because you have to build that relationship. It's like mediums. Me, when I've done readings in the past, when I've done platform mediumship and given readings, I used to do a lot of that. Like, in order to give the message to somebody, you need to build up a relationship with your guides in how you give a message. So for me, like, if I had a clo- like a, a relative that was in spirit, you had a stroke, then once, like the right side of my body would usually, would usually get a bit tingly, like feel like pins and needles. And I know that that person had had a stroke. So I would say to the person I'm getting reading to, oh, has someone had a stroke in your family because I'm feeling this within me, like they're getting closer and they'll go like, yes. But for somebody else, like very new, if they work up with these abilities or this, 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 these senses, this sixth sense, they wouldn't know what that is. They're like, oh, my right side of my body feels a bit numb. And so the person you're speaking to would be like, oh, why is that? And because you're giving a reading, straight away for me, I know that that is what um, my guides are showing me because they're, they're giving me that, that feeling. Or the, I think what's really happening is I'm tuning into the, the person's relative who has died with having a stroke. Um, another thing that's happened before is I've been giving like a reading or talking to somebody, uh, you know, and then suddenly my teeth feel like they're falling out of my mouth. And then I'm I'm speaking about their grandmother and saying, oh, did your grandmother used to have false teeth because I'm feeling that I can't speak? And they'd be like, yeah. Again, if you wake up with these new, this new sixth sense, these new feelings, you wake up and like, oh, um, you know, you're given this reading or like you're just feeling in tune or all sorts of things happening to you and you don't realize. For me, a big thing is that um, if I feel someone ne- negative or angry at me, the right side of my face starts to go like tingly and like numb, very numb. And I know when somebody is like angry or like pissed off with me and I feel it. Now, the exact same thing I get is when I'm around animals in nature because they are they're in like survival mode they're like oh there's a human there's a being what do i do and so i mean this one time i had to save this squirrel um in london it was trapped inside this building i had to put gloves on and the right side of my face was like going numb the whole time so i thought i trust it that i trust myself i want it to trust me but i know that it's not going to trust me because i know that's going to bite me so i had to first find some gloves when I did, I was able to catch it and hold on to it. And when I did, it just dug its like its mouth into my hand and to like bite me to you know because it thought it was in danger. <laughs> so of course you're gonna put gloves on, but uh, for me, I I didn't think I was going to because I thought no, I'm just gonna trust. It. I'm just gonna catch it and you know just put it out the window so it's safe. Um, but no, like it's I get that with with animals, um, with people sometimes that that anger I feel it on the right right side of my face, you know. So it's all these things that you need to be aware of. It's all these tiny micro feelings that you get with psychic feelings that no one's going to teach you. It comes through, it comes comes from a journey that only you can walk in. It comes from the hero's journey of your own journey of going through life and understanding these micro messages, these micro things that you have to tune into. And that, that's as simple as, as it is. And the only way to refine your psychic senses is to continue always using life around you as a playground. You know, an energetic, an energetic playground of playing with things around you, of just being in tune, being in a state of meditation, of like being prepared of like, okay, I'm going to tune in and just allow what's what's coming in and what's going on in the world. And of course, recently it's been very hard because I've been feeling the pain, the suffering of the world with the current pandemic, you know, the lockdowns, 
the, the, the stress, the, the people at home who are, who are com, you know, being in conflict because they're not used to being at home all the time. But then there's also a state of, of relaxation, of acceptance. So like, okay, this is, is, this is what it is. But there's a bit of hollowness, and I'm feeling that with the world right now as well. So if I was to wake, or anyone was to wake up the next day with such a much more stronger psychic vision, it would be very difficult for a person to cope with, like mentally. They'll probably go through some mental stress, first of all, because they'll be picking up and feeling all these different feelings that they never felt before. So it's important to remain stable, to remain happy, to remain content, and to, to, to ride it out smoothly. So opening up your third eye really fast is, it's not, it can be dangerous, but it can be dangerous if the person isn't emotionally ready for that experience. Because when you are open up psychically, then you're, you're forcing yourself open. And I don't think you can force yourself open. What I'm saying is that just be careful, that take your time with it. Um, that if you want to be more in tune, more psychic or more understanding about yourself or more understanding about your mind-body connection, about your body connecting with your mind and what's going on internally and, and healing and, and all sorts of things, more connected to your guys, it just takes time and practice. Like me, learning a language, I've been learning Spanish for over a year. It's taken time. I'm not a master at speaking Spanish. I can't say it. Two, more than two sentences at the moment will have a conversation it will end after like a 10 seconds so I know that if I was to wake up the next day speaking Spanish I'd probably be able to speak it but I wouldn't understand what I'd be saying <laughs> so there's that journey of the understanding as well as what is taking place if that's making sense to you so to force your third eye open can be dangerous for the, the um, mental health of the person that that's happening to. So what I ask is that just give it time and it will happen in the right time. Don't force it. Um, life is beautiful. There's plenty of time for everything. Um, just have patience and things will happen when you want it to. So I hope this has helped. Um, yeah, just have patience with, with psychic uh, visions and and dreams and everything and things will go smoothly. So thank you for watching and I'll speak to you next time.